Hello you. Well, it's later in the week and <gasps> look what I got. Look what I got. Oh, Houston and Llamasoft. Could the two th better things be combined? <sighs> Iridis Alpha or Iridis Oc, as idiots might have called it. <clears throat> I don't know anyone like that. I, ooh, I've wanted this for so, so long. <laughs> ooh, that sounds vaguely pervy now, doesn't it? Wanted this at the time, never saw it anywhere, otherwise I would have bought it like that. Just pfft. never saw it in the shops anywhere around here. But I found a cheap copy on eBay and oh it's so good to have it now. It's going up there on the shelf with the other little the softies. I've still gotta get um Ancipital sometime, that's the next big one I think. Um Paul E. Moles. Uh, very kindly sent me a, a copy of Psychedelia that he had from somewhere, I have no idea where, and that was a lovely, lovely treat, but not really one for, that goes well with videoing, I don't think. Maybe I'll give it a go on video at some point, I don't know. But here it is, 4 slash 8. Hmm. Anyway, I suppose I should be reading the instructions, or rather the preamble blurb bit. <clears throat> Are we sitting comfortably, kiddies? Here it is, Alpha, the story behind the game. The story of Iridis Alpha begins with what was found on the planet of Zazax Prime after the activation of the legendary Iridis base. Artifacts and documents relating to the long-departed race of Iridians were found at the base. Upon decoding, these documents revealed the location of the Iridians' homeworld, Iridis Alpha. Apparently, the Iridians evolved into transcendental forms devoid of the need for physical bodies, or, for that matter, planets to live on. So the Iridians prepared to leave their homeworld and depart for galaxies unknown in search of peace, enlightenment, and a canned soft drink that tasted it even better than coke. A futile quest, carried out with almost religious fervour by the Iridians, it had been widely accepted throughout the galaxy that nothing could ever taste better than a good can of coke. The Iridian quest transformed itself into an important ritual. They didn't really expect to succeed. Incidentally, the only known existence of a culture possessing a soft drink actually better than coke is on Old Terra, where one of the less well-developed countries spontaneously evolved a yellow drink known as Inca Cola. People were known to travel across half the globe in slow and comfortable air transporters at great expense just to buy a few bottles and be at one with the indigenous ungulates. Inca Cola was not the solution to the original search though, though it did indeed taste better than Coke, it wasn't available in cans. <sighs> The Iridians were nostalgic about their old homeworld, though, and fitted it out as a sort of museum and left it in stasis, so that they might, after millennia exploring everything, come back and assume physical forms once more and rest a while on the, their ancient homeworld, sitting around in circles remembering old times and talking. Although a peaceful race, the Iridians didn't want any of these new barbaric aliens currently struggling towards sentience in this neck of the galaxy to go a-plundering on their lovely homeworld, so they defended it with lots of men and heavy weaponry. Upon finding out these interesting facts about Iridis Alpha, the humans at Iridis Base, remember that from Battlex kids? Decided that they could use some of the amazingly advanced technology <coughs> excuse me, advanced technology there technology to, that these Iridians had developed. They reasoned that sure, being ultimately evolved and really peaceful was all well and good. But in their universe there was a Zaxians waiting to be biffed, and that Iridian technology would make a fine big stick to do the biffing with. They leaped into their sleek FTL cruisers, thumbing their noses at Einstein, appearing in orbit around Alpha a mere two warp seconds later. Don't ask me about warp seconds, because I don't know that much about them. Apparently there's a multidimensional time construct that relates uh, subjective and objective time. If you apply a localised 90 degree dimension shift, then one subjective and one objective second becomes equivalent. Well, sort of. So, although the ships really took millennia to reach Alpha, the time perceived by the crew, and the rest of the universe, is only a couple of weird seconds. Warp seconds! However, once within Alpha's orbit, the troubles really began. You see, the Iridians had rigged a multiple phase reality field around the whole planet, allowing it to exist in two realities simultaneously. Very confusing to the observer. Anyway, um, it tells you about um, they uh, created a droid that could understand this strange warped reality by taking a mind and implanting it in a droid that then promptly called itself Gilby and no one knew why. So you play Gilby. Actually, I have seen this before. I have seen this running on my Commodore 64, but um, only from this tape. I don't know if you can read that. 
Maybe I'll take it out of the... Eridis Alpha non-playing copy. Demo copy. I had this. Right outside, just that side. So I made a, a case for it. Um, and I could watch Eridis Alpha. I couldn't play it. Now I can. This is a big moment. I'm going to be shit at it, but there we go. I figured Mr. Speed King would be the one to go with. Shortest travel, fits neatly in palm, and I shouldn't need auto fire. Um, I did read the instructions earlier, and I've probably forgotten it all. Um, but hey ho, let's have a go. <coughs> Holding down fire and watching your energy and making sure you don't have too much energy, as much as too little. If I take my finger off fire and fly through those, I warp somewhere or other. I'm not, where's my energy? My energy is 11 points and is flashing. Is that good or bad? I'm not entirely certain. Let's go fly through one of these things if we can. Nope. I thought... Now I died there, didn't I? Yep. Overload. Yeah. So I should have crashed a few times then. Okay. I want to warp, I want to warp, I want to warp, I want to... I'm sure it was shoot some of these and then... Uh, let's get literally some health a bit. If it... I think it was, if your guild is a dark colour then it's... Ooh, now there's too many of them. You've got to constantly balance your, your energy levels. Too much is as bad as too little. Oh, shit. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh, bum. Depleted. They drained me, the bastards. Right. I don't know how I deal with those guys. I, oh, get off me, you buggers. Don't like them. Those look, are those the same icons as the Om, there's the wall. Yeah, those are, I'm not sure the mushrooms were in um, the brown one, down bottom right. I'm not sure they were in Battle X, were they? But similar. Um, Yak, Rat, Wolf, Thinker, Matt, Psy, Tack, Goat, Fink, Flood. Oh yes, that's one. Cy, Cybernoid, my mate Matt, uh, popped around for the first time in ages and brought his um, Vita that I didn't even know he had to show me TXK. And I had a quick blast at that. And that is good. That is a portable space giraffe. I like that. But, oh, I am, I'm in there. I, I, oh well, I hadn't even realised. Uh, let's have another go! What? Did they just come from the last game? Blimey, that's a bit tight, isn't it? Does each game carry on from where you left off? If you've got been twatted by some particularly nasty bad guys, they're there waiting for you again? Or was that just sheer coincidence? How do I warp? I cannot remember what it said. And by all good games of deaths, it's a bit difficult to read the instructions we're in the middle of the game. Right, I am very high on energy there, aren't I? Get off me! I know I said I was full of energy, but it wasn't an invite. Flying across the water here reminds me of um, Cauldron. I'm not sure I've done Cauldron yet, have I? Yet another one off the uh, 10 computer hits 3 that I haven't uh, got around to doing. What was the last one I did? Eladon, I think, wasn't it? I'm sure it was halt, stop firing if you want. Oh, oh, no. Yeah. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away, oh, balls. Quick, 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 quick. What is it to. Na, 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 na. Energy stages, core energy. Transfer energy to flying over the core energy and. Oh, right, fly over the core area and stopping. Uh, right. Get off me, you buggers. So watch out for their eyes and then. Quite a lot of these buggers about. 
I can't remember if black is full of energy. Lower, low energy. Right, I hadn't shot them. Laser blaze the scum. Take out that bridge. That's me dead again. Oh no. Ooh, battery's a bit low. Ooh. Why so many of these, Jeff? Why? <laughs> <laughs> right, quick, 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 read, read, read. Get rid of excess energy in two ways by deliberate conversions or dropping it off in the core. Land on the core and transfer your energy. Just fly to the core, stop overhead, and release the fire button. When a problem, Gilby will drop to the deck and your energy will be dumped. Leave the core, walk, Gilby off the core surface. Right, so if I drop and walk around and drop. Uh, da, 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 three fire the first one. <laughs> With a lower planet activated, your next priority is to learn how to transfer control from top to bottom. Um, make a transfer. Firstly, shoot any alien that produces a spinning ring when shot. Yes. Shoot your alien to get the ring, then release the fire and, and fly through the ring. So I was kind of getting it right, I was just doing it wrong, badly. Whatever. Okay. <coughs> Let's have one more go before the battery runs out. I will be playing this more, but oh, get off me. Right, I need a... I have no idea if that is transferring energy to the core. Or even if the ground is the core. <laughs> What's in the core? You've really got to learn what you're doing, haven't you? Because otherwise the whole thing makes no sense. What if I land on that? Oh. Was that a warp or did I die? I think I died, didn't I? No! Get off me! Get off! Get off! Oh. There's got to be a knack for getting around then. I have not learnt it yet, obviously. Yeah, come on, let me get going. <laughs> Is it hug the ground? No, hug the ground ain't it. <laughs> Zapped again and fly fast and mean. Get off me! Can I not even shoot them, do it? I'm going to die very quickly there. Oh well, that's one I really need to... Uh, practice and, well, learn and then practice and then master. I think I'm probably going to struggle with the learn aspect anytime soon, but I'm certainly going to be practicing. <laughs> Mastering, I doubt that will ever happen. I've never been any, well, I don't know, never had anyone to compare to, but I've never thought myself particularly good at any of chess games, but they're still damn fun, and that's the main thing. Two. This is me signing off on a quickie, and uh, follow up to previous videos. Yeah, things are still nightmarish, but for some reason my brain chemistry is allowing me to ignore all that tonight. Maybe it's the liberal application of Llamasoft. So, yeah. So happy I've got this. <laughs> going up there on the shelf with the others now, and I'm going to play this a bit more. But uh, I shall love you and leave you on this one, and um, catch you on the next one, maybe. Thanks for watching. Ta-ta.